just signed my paperwork. Wait for these guys to uh, either on either load me tonight or load me tomorrow. We'll see what happens. But uh, I'm just in this dock over here to the right. Um, this is Sunday today. Um, they usually don't load on Sundays, but sometimes they will. So I'm hoping they do. I'm gonna go ahead and uh, raise this guy. Just so they know I'm here. Hey, what's up, guys? I was able to get loaded uh, within. I got there in K Falls about eight o'clock, and I think it's eleven o'clock now, so eleven thirty or something like that. So I was able to get loaded when technically they're not even supposed to load us on Sunday. So that's perfect for me. I'm able to put some miles down. You know, it's night nighttime trucking. I'll put some miles down and uh, uh, hopefully I can make it to uh, Corning tonight and get my truck washed tonight and then, you know, sleep there, get some good rest there, get up in the morning, take a shower, get my Starbucks and, uh, and roll out, you know? So, uh, I'm happy right now. Cause you know, usually that never happens where we're able to get loaded in a decent time and, uh, and, and in and out of there. Well, today it just all, you know, the cards just lined up perfectly. So, um, I'm excited to go ahead and, uh, do that. I, other than that, if I wasn't going to get loaded today, um, they would have had to load me at my appointment time tomorrow at six in the morning which is totally fine. I was already expecting that, but, uh, man, I'm, I'm excited. Cause you know, yesterday, or I was, I was pretty much thinking if I would have gotten loaded today, excuse me, if I would have gotten loaded tomorrow, I would have been so pressed for time to get a truck wash. Uh, I didn't think I was going to have time to even get a truck wash. So, uh, Thank God I was able to get loaded today and uh, get this thing all pressed out for you guys, man. You know, so I want you guys to see this thing, you know, blinging. Every time you guys click on this on these videos, I want you guys to see this thing like, you know, tip top shape. So uh, I did a few things to the interior, cleaned it up, put some rugs down because, you know, I'm going to Cali and I'm not going to get too dirty. So I got my vans on and, uh, you know, I, I got the interior all cleaned up and I got my rug, you know, I bought a nice little rug for floor mat and uh, it's nice to just get out of town, you know, once in a while. Uh, it's really nice. So anyways, guys, um, I'll catch you guys on the next clip. I don't know what I'll be doing next. I'm guessing I'll be at the truck wash next time you guys see me. So uh, yeah, thank you guys for watching. Uh, we'll, uh, we'll see you on the next clip. All right, guys, we made it to the beacon. I am exhausted. So uh, I'm gonna get in here and get washed as fast as possible and get over to the casino and fall asleep. I am tired, man, but uh, I'm happy. I'm ahead of schedule right now. Um, yeah, things are things are looking good. It's dry out here. Uh, everything's awesome. I'll update you guys as uh, as we keep on going. Cleanest showers on I-5, for sure. <laughs> Out here at the Rolling Hills Casino. <laughs> all right guys, just got all washed up. I got my breakfast sitting in the truck. I'm ready to hit the road. It's already warming up down here in Corning. Man, I miss this type of weather, man. This is already better than what it's been all year back home so got this thing all cleaned up and 
ready to hit the hit the road. So uh, let's see what we can't get ourselves into. Look at those clouds, man. Look at that. are not allowed in that third lane but you're gonna see uh, a bunch of guys get out in that third lane you know there's been a time or two when I was empty rolling up the vine uh, out, you know you get out in that third lane but uh, I'm gonna be so heavy I, I'm gonna guess this it's gonna sit somewhere around the 35 40 mile an hour mark up the hill and I've, I've got about 78 I'm about 78,000 pounds gross right now so all right, we'll get up there and we'll see where where we land up for a mile an hour up the vine. But uh, it's a it's a constant duck and dodge between trucks rolling behind you with enough speed where you want to let them get on by, and you just staying out in that second lane because the trucks on the right lane are just going so slow. So it's just a, it's just chaotic over here. Look, we're already got to hit our brakes. Oh man. So, still haven't downshifted yet. There's a downshift. That's just a, a, a split, split of the shift. That wasn't a full gear. So I'm slowing down because of these guys. So, the truck still has a lot of power to keep on going. But uh, these guys are slowing us all down. So it is what it is. I want to grab the third lane right now, but just can't. Because I know I can get around them in the third lane. All right, so we got around them. Like I said, the truck's pulling about 40 miles an hour. Still climbing. 
oil temp is fine coolant temp is fine so I'm just gonna try to keep it right here at about 40 I'm about quarter throttle right now looking in my mirrors making sure I'm not uh, holding anybody up if there's an empty truck behind me uh, I'd like to let them go on by but uh, right now with me pulling around these trucks with as much mile an hour as I got I don't want to have to stop and, and move over to the right uh, I got my truck working just as hard as the next guy so you know I don't I don't want to um, I don't want to get over there in the right man but uh yeah guys we're just uh letting her eat up the vine letting her eat
All right, guys, I'm here at my first delivery out here in La Mirada. As you see, forest plywood. Uh, pretty simple deal, just back right on in. The only issue is their driveway getting in and out is kind of hairy. It's just a little too tall to where, you know, it, you, you almost bottom your tanks out, but um, I didn't have any problems. So he's gonna get me unloaded real quick and then we'll be out of here in, uh, in no time. Uh, downside is my tires that I'm reloading is uh the appointment isn't until three o'clock so that kind of sucks but that's all right I, I need to catch up on some sleep anyway uh, i'm gonna head to uh rancho and just get some sleep man but this is where we're at Hey, what's happening guys? Just woke up from a pretty good nap. Oh man, I'm tired. Late, I haven't really been able to sleep. Been waking up like every 30 minutes, every hour it feels like. But anyways, um, first drop went really good. I came over here to uh, the TA over here in Rancho or something like that. And uh, parked in the back of the lot, got myself some Pizza Hut. Uh, I took a nice nap and now I'm getting ready to go over to get my tire load. Um, I don't think I need to help them load it, They'll, pro they'll probably load it themselves. Um, I know I have to unload it, that's the, that's the catch to this one, I have to help unload. No big deal, uh, we'll get over there now and, and, uh, and see what they got in store for us. Um, also I, I got my nice floor mats out here right now. And, nice fuzzy floor mats i've been driving with my shoes off and stuff it's been awesome man it's like 80 something degrees out here right now so i'm loving it so anyways let's get over here and see uh see what we got in store for us All right, guys, I, I thought I was picking up tires, but apparently I'm not. I'm picking up miscellaneous AC parts. Uh, usually for this this broker that we haul out of here for, not here, but LA, uh, they always needed me to pick up tires. So yeah, I'm in there like, yeah, I need tires. They're like, I don't got no tires in here. Anyways, I'm gonna get in the dock and they already gave me a door probably gonna take them a while he said it won't load till probably 3 30 so i'm gonna probably try to get some uber eats i want to i want a jamba juice that'd be nice get a jamba juice so yeah nice fresh jamba juice that'd be that'd be solid so let me get in this dock and see what's happening
Just checking out what we got in here. So far they got a couple things, but nothing nothing crazy yet. So let's see what else we got. All right guys, we just got loaded. Um, I got a total of 9,000 pounds. So I'm super happy about that. Uh, only 9,000 pounds going up to Everett and then going up to Seattle. Uh, it took them a while to get me unloaded or get me loaded, but it is what it is. So it's about six o'clock now uh, I'm gonna get ready and, and hit the road and just run my clock out. So time to roll What's up guys <clears throat> I'm back here at the Rolling Hills Casino in Corning uh, I stopped in at Fat Burger I've never had Fat Burger before before and man this stuff is crack right here this is really good worth the wait worth waiting on the old people to get out of my way and hurry up and order and figure out what they wanted uh, definitely worth it so yeah um, I'm getting ready to get out of here I just got a shower uh, and the next stop from here is Weed, California, so I can get some fuel, top off a little bit of fuel, and then I'll be heading home. So I'm going to guess I'll be home about 11, maybe midnight tonight. We'll see what happens. Right on. What's up, guys? As per usual, you can already see what I'm gonna, what I'm going to say. See those wipers going? Literally, as I crossed into the border of Oregon and, and California, as soon as I got down Ashland, rain. And it's supposed to rain con consistently, at least until tomorrow. So there goes the truck wash and clean truck life. Tire shine, all that stuff is gone out the window. <laughs> all good all good um almost home 40 i just saw the 40 mile marker uh 40 miles till portland so um uh, i don't live too far from there so um yeah i'm gonna get home get some sleep and get up first thing in the morning and get this load delivered so fun times fun times all right, guys, at my first stop. Got a couple things here. He's taking pallets off. We don't have a, a dock or anything. He's just taking the pallets off right there. And uh, they, they've only got like five on here. So easy enough. 
he's got a pallet jack he'll bring me and I'll get this a little bit closer to him. But uh, easy, easy as that. fighting this thing. There we go. Oh, there's a piece of wood down there. Alright guys, that's my last drop there. All the rest goes to Everett. Almost done. All right, guys, we're all out of there now. Uh, I just want to kind of show you guys where I came in from. There's actually a Subaru dealer right up there that I had to uh, come in from. So it's kind of cool. Just swung right into the Subaru dealer. But anyways, we're all done here. I'm going to get over to Everett and get them uh, the last of the load. All right, guys, we're here at Greg LaRue's shop, um, LaRue Brothers. I'm here dropping off my, this is gonna be the new uh, trailer I'm gonna take to shows. So as you can see, the landing gear was painted green. Um, for the previous, it was color matched to the previous uh, drivers uh, setup. So we're gonna get some custom touches done over here. Um, and as you can see, the green is followed back here. And we also got the green and cream uh, back behind. So the plan is we're gonna paint all this stuff that you see is painted. We're gonna paint it legendary black. Uh, that's gonna go um, black and gray like the truck. Um, so we're gonna have all this legendary black like my frame 
and then we're gonna do uh, quarter fenders in the front of the tandem so we'll have a mount you know mounted right in here where these bolts are and then we'll have quarter fenders right there you know sitting real low and, and flush like that also we're gonna have Greg box in the suspension so you won't be able to see it and have a drop panel and it's gonna be color matched you know the legendary black and we'll put uh, maybe five lights across it um, also one thing I didn't mention uh, we're gonna have him put a stainless piece clear through here just like the back of my tractor and uh, we're gonna have him just a clean stainless piece box all that in just like the back of my flatbed and then maybe do five lights across there I think that'd be nice um, and then I think that's it for this tra this trailer it doesn't need to be super crazy because it's not going to get used all that much but it needs to be uh nice enough to take it to shows to where you know my truck isn't standing out so much the trailer could stand out also um okay got that all locked up so uh anyways and uh this trailer is already plumb for underneath this is the trailer i just took to la so already has it plumbed underneath for that but uh anyways guys i just wanted to show you a before and after all this stuff's gonna get changed out um next time we see it it should look like a really nice trailer so yes sir